I'm Steph from Style by Steph. If you're a seasoned subscriber, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. Uh, today we're doing an epic, epic styling call. We're doing 10 outfits. Almost all are um, new in pieces. Some are from last year. So almost everything is new in. Some you've seen before. Some are brand, brand, brand new that you haven't seen yet. And I'm talking sweaters, dresses, cords, jeans, the works. And I'm going to do it a little differently this time. Instead of walking you through each piece like I've done in the past, I'm going to go straight to styling everything. So please comment below and let me know if this is a format that you prefer or if you'd like me walking you through each piece. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that I will list everything in the description box below. If an item is sold out, then I obviously apologize for that. I'll try to find something similar if it's sold out. For your reference, I am five foot six. I typically wear a size six or a size eight, depending on where I'm ordering pieces from. Ordering, of course, I'm ordering from pieces where they, they originate from. <laughs> and I typically wear a size medium in tops. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and help me out with that YouTube algorithm. So we'll get right into it. First off is this outfit. This is a beautiful, beautiful leather look blazer from Zara. I picked up two of these. I've got in this color and in black, the black you've seen in a previous video. And I've paired it back with this very thin knit turtleneck, this uh, top shop skirt. It's a tiered skirt, really, really, really comfortable. And then these Zara boots that you've seen before. So these chunky Zara boots that you've seen, they're probably still in store. They're relatively inexpensive. And then I've, of course, thrown on a necklace. Now, I would style this with one of the two bags that I'll be styling all outfits with today. So this is my little Chloe purse. It's not quite the same color as this, but it, it goes really well together. So I think it's kind of a nice pairing, adds a little something. Don't be afraid to wear topes this time of the year. They're fantastic for fall and autumn. And we're seeing so many neutrals this year that it's just a nice little layering piece to add on. But yeah. I like adding belts over top of skirts because I think it just brings it all together. I'll show you what it looks like without the belt. See what I mean? It just loses a little something, whereas with the belt, it just kind of snatches it all in. So this is outfit number one. I'll come back shortly with outfit number two. All right, now outfit number two. I've got this beautiful Zara sweater on. It's got like that sort of Peter Pan collar in a purple speck knit. Love this sweater. This is a size medium. It's $49.90, I know, because the tag is still on. That's in Canadian dollars. And then I've paired it with this leather look skirt, again from Zara, again, $49.90. And I believe this was also a medium. I love this almost monochromatic look. Um, but if you wanted to do something a little different, I think they also have this skirt in um, probably like a caramel color and then black. But honestly, really, really comfortable. All of my clothes are comfortable. Everything I'm going to be showing you today is extremely comfortable. All of it can be worn to office. All of it can be worn going out running errands, grabbing coffee, going for dinner. That's how I roll. I, I like to wear things that I am comfortable wearing in many scenarios where I don't have to break my head thinking about it. And then I've just paired it with my little Chloe bag again. And these really cute, like really cute shoes from H&M. They were $39.90. Again, Canadian dollars. I'm going to take them off just to show you what this looks like. I don't think I've introduced you to these yet. How cute are these? Totally on trend with the chunky style, but I love how it comes to almost like a, a rounded pointed edge. It just gives it a little bit of something. And look at the detail on the front. The little front lip here comes up. You would never, ever, ever think that these shoes were $39.90. So I highly recommend if they're still available. And as I always say, they are extremely comfortable. So this is outfit number two, folks. I will come back with number three shortly. All right, next up, we've got this beautiful Zara blouse. You can see there's frill all across the blouse and these beautiful purple flowers. It's see-through, so it's kind of a, I don't know, a chiffon-y type material. And it's got a pussy bow. It is transparent, so um, I'm wearing um, like a, we call it a bralette, but like a, a longer bralette, which is what I prefer to wear. Again, I told you more about comfort. That is testament to that. 
um, but otherwise you can wear a camel toe underneath and I think that would be perfectly fine. Now, I've sized up in this blouse and these jeans. I always size up in Zara jeans. I don't know why, but I'm always a size 10 in Zara jeans. Um, but they're shorts, etc. I'm always either an 8 or a medium, so keep that in mind. You've seen these jeans before. These are the ones that I say are the most comfortable jeans that I own. I think it's because there's that 1% of elastane in them. They just give you that little extra stretch, and they're extremely, extremely high-waisted which I am here for. I love a high-waisted jean. It hits me at the smallest part of my waist, giving me the illusion of kind of being nipped in. And then because they are a bit wider and um, look, up, look up a little bit in the bottom, it just gives like that hourglass kind of figure. So this blouse, I believe was 59.90. I did size up. It is a size large. The medium did fit, but I just wanted to have that little extra room in it to be um, comfortable. And I've then turned it back with another big trend of the season, which are Western influenced boots. Um, these are from L'Etarval. L'Etarval is amazing sales. And I know I've talked to you about these before, uh, about, about L'Etarval that is. I bought a few pairs from them recently because I think there was a discount code of 50% off of boots that were already on sale. So I got these for like 80 or 90 bucks. And they're this beautiful buttery leather. Look at this gorgeous kind of silver finish front. And you've got that with that Western look. So these are um, a size 40. I'm usually a size 39. I probably could have stuck with a 39, but I was, I was really, again, looking for comfort. So I tend to do that. I size up a little bit when I am looking for comfort. Let me just take a moment and talk about my hair. I got a curling wand. I know, finally getting to the, <laughs> getting to the game after all of you have been using these forever and ever. And yeah, I ordered one on Amazon, like their Bistope brand, I think it's called. And holy cow, it's just like really giving me good hair. And it didn't burn my hair either, which is really nice. That's why I tend to avoid anything with uh, too much heat. My really frizzy, wavy hair, it's, it's difficult to manage. And I actually just blow dried it and then put the curling wand through it. So anyway, if you're interested, I will link the brand below. All right, so this is outfit number two. I will be back with number three shortly. All right, now we've got outfit number four. This, you've seen, if you're on Instagram, you've seen all the fashion folk wear these um, vests. They're everywhere. H&M has done a few different models. I know they're hard to get. They've sold out in a lot of places, but these are just absolutely everywhere. Why are they so great and why people love them? I suspect is because one, they look cool, two, they look preppy, three, they are extremely comfortable. So what I've done is thrown on this H&M polyester type shirt. I like these types. I know a lot of people prefer the cotton shirts, but these don't need to be ironed. And I'm here for that. Um, and I've simply paired that with, this is one of those H&M Vests. I know that they have this in multiple colors. I also have a v-neck version. I prefer this crew neck version. I poked out the top of the blouse, worn my necklace over it, and then thrown on these Zara leather look pants. Now this color is quite unique. It's a little bit different from what we've been seeing typically. And yes, I'm, I am a curvy girl. I know I'm supposed to stay away from dark colors. I don't care. I don't follow those rules. I like to wear what I like. And so um, here I am wearing these, and I've thrown on some Sam Endelman heels, um, about the same color actually as the pants. Now, what would I do with this? I could wear, I could show you everything with two bags. I would either wear black, just to break it up a little bit. You see how that looks? It looks good, it adds just a little something to kind of punch out the outfit. Or I'd go again with a neutral and kind of layer the neutral um, with this outfit. What's nice with these two colors is that they genuinely go with most outfits. So if you're going to invest, invest I would say in things that you can wear many different ways or at least that you like. Like if you're somebody who likes to pair bright colors together, by all means, please, I, I, I applaud you. I think you're wonderful for being able to do that. That is not me, unfortunately, so I like to wear things or buy things that I think I can wear in many different ways. Now, these pants I did size up in, and like with most leather look anything, if you have curves or a bit of a tummy, which I do, you have to be careful because you will 
if it's something you don't want to show, um, like you might need to wear some shapewear underneath because it will show all of your, your, your bumps. What's good with this though, because it's so long, it covers that up and kind of brings everything um, back together. So I believe I went with standard sizing for all of these. This is a medium, this is a medium. These are probably a medium. By the way, these pants have a little zipper at the bottom. So if you wanna uh, open them up a little and do more of a boot pad look, you can absolutely do that. And I'll show you my shoes. So these are just the standard Sam Endelman pointed pumps. Everywhere they've been around for a really long time. All right, I'll be right back with the next outfit. All right, good old number five. This beautiful piece. This beautiful piece from Zara. Thank you, Zara, for making this. I'll show you the neck. It's got a long zipper in the back. It's kind of got this mock neck. It's made oversized. I'm wearing my usual size medium. It's, it's not cropped, but it is short-ish. Um, this is a cord. From, from Zara. I got this last week and I immediately put it on and I've worn it a few times since. It, this is very comfortable. I know you're so tired of hearing that, but this, and it's a no brainer. You just wake up and you throw it on. It's got a long slit up to the front, so careful. It is quite high. If you wear shorts underneath or do like me, I actually don't care. I've thrown on my Zara janky boots with this really cool with sneakers, really cool with heels, obviously it's one of those outfits that you can wear with many different things. There's a drawstring waist with an elastic, hence the reason why it is so comfortable to wear. And it's just like a really, really cute outfit that you could wear together or on its own. I wear this with a black turtleneck, I would wear this with a pair of jeans or even jogging pants kind of tucked in the front. Honestly, like this is just great and I'm wearing my true to size medium. Now, I would probably wear this with my Celine Nano bag, black with the black with the black. So you're getting a little bit of a, um, a recall on the color within that. But you can honestly, it's just it's a neutral gray, so you can honestly wear any color with this. So yeah, love this one. All right, outfit number six, I believe. Nine, yeah, six. It's hard to keep track. So now we've got on again, new in for me. Um, this is a part of a recent Zara haul that I received earlier this week. I was away in the Eastern Townships, came back, and I had some packages. So this was a part of some of those packages that I received. This is a beautiful, classic, you should have one in your wardrobe sweater. It's warm, it's got a mixture of acrylic and wool. Um, I feel like there's three components. It's a touch of wool. There's definitely acrylic in this. It's not itchy. Oh, it's nylon. It's a nylon acrylic um, wool leg. It's not itchy, but the little fluffs do come off. So if you're somebody who doesn't like that, then you might want to avoid this one. You can wear um, a blouse underneath or a button-up shirt, whatever you want to call it. But this, I'm just so into. I love, and you're going to see in a sec when I back up, a big pair of pants with it with a oversized shirt. I think it just gives like such cool vibes. Um, so this was a medium. I believe it was $59.90. I have the tag on it still actually so I can confirm that. It was in fact $59.90. Um, I paired it with my recent, recent stock purchase from, uh, this is, I got this on Trend Savvy. This was a uh, Mel Soldera. If you don't follow her, you should. She's incredible. She's everything, handbag, styling that you can imagine. Another Montrealer. Um, this was a kind of um, one of her picks. So she did a bit of a collab with Trend Savvy and this was her, these were her, her, her stack pick, if you will. Okay, told you I'd back up so you could see the rest of the outfit. Oversized. Um, straight leg jeans, when I say oversized, I mean wide leg, oversized is not the right word, uh, wide leg jeans from Zara. Oh, love these. So these are 100% cotton, they're not stretching them, but they're actually comfortable. Um, tight around the tush, tight around the, the hips, but then very, very wide leg. Now, these were super long, they're, un, they're cut hem, they're not a sewn hem, so I actually cut them so that they would be this length. I know they still look long, but I like these kinds of jeans more long. I like long where it's almost touching in the back with a pair of heel, the loose sweater, the loose jeans, again, cool, cool, cool vibes. 
I would probably wear this with this little nugget just because I think that the neutrals work really well together. And again, this can be worn literally to the office, coffee, meet up with friends and get out of this situation, of course. But it's just super, super versatile. And then I've thrown it on with the um, Sam Endelman heels that you saw earlier. All right, see you soon. All right, number seven is this part of Lazara haul that I mentioned to you, the big order that I received. This is a cord, um, which you have eyes, so you, you know it's a cord. It, I believe this is a medium medium. It's meant to be oversized. It is quite long, so unless you have long legs, you may need to wear heels, which is what I've done. It's part of this back with those um, boots from Les Farval, the, the cowboy inspired, cowboy country inspired, western inspired boots that I showed you earlier. Now look at this, it's ripped, it's got a bit of a, a v-shaped cut, which is a really nice detail. It's these little details that just elevate any piece. So it could be super simple like this is, but because it's got these details, it just gives a little something extra. Um, okay, now why do I love this so much? It's comfortable, <laughs> you're surprised I said that. It's extremely comfortable. I think it's meant to be worn as loungewear, but I like loungewear with a pair of chunky heels. I think it just takes it from I'm hanging around the house to I'm gonna go out and um, see friends. And watch this. If I throw on this leather look blazer from Zara, suddenly it, it becomes very office appropriate for when we go back to the office. Right? Like it's it's no longer looking like loungewear. Instead, it's looking like a set, something that you can um, wear in many different occasions. It does show all the lumps and bumps. So again, if you're somebody who's sensitive to lumps and bumps, then you may not like this. You could tuck in the front here. Not something I would do because it's just I like it better, kind of loosely worn. Um, it's warm. You know, what else can I say? All right, this is a special blouse. This blouse is from H&M. You can see it's got maybe like a Victorian lace type of effect throughout the shirt. So it's sleeve um, around the neck, completely across the back and shoulders, and then through to your wrist, and then across the buttons as well in the front. Now, honestly, I think I ordered this a month ago. I got it last week. H&M, I, I, I don't know what's going on with y'all, but um, I wish you lots of luck um, around your shipping times because it's not been easy. So I don't know if it's sold out. It is still available. Of course, I will link it below. This is my true to size medium with H&M. I'm just wearing some jeans and then again, those Western influence uh, boots. I love this shirt because it's different, it's timeless, it's not really trendy, it's certainly different, um, it's not really classic, but it's also not trendy, it's just modern, and I think it's something that you can pull out year after year because it's unique, it won't age, and it's like that awesome length where you can wear leggings, you can wear skinny, pair of skinny jeans, you know, I just mentioned that I love wearing bit of an oversized and a straight leg these days, but I could imagine a scenario where I'd wear skinny jeans, leather look pants, you name it with this. So it's like just got great versatility. You could probably even do a bit of a French tuck if you wanted to do, uh, to pull in your waist a little bit. And who knew, like you knew I wasn't gonna go a whole styling video without wearing a hat. So I would use this as an accessory with this outfit because I think the neckline, these necklines look great with hats. I don't know what it is. And then top it all off, probably go with my Celine bag or with one of my Louis bags, but for this video, I'm showing you these two. So I think I would just wear it like this, friends. And if I wanted to be casual, I would cross body it. Good to go. Outfit number nine. This little cutie is an H&M number. Again, size medium. I've thrown on a few chunky necklaces. You've seen them throughout this video. Some bracelets just to accessorize a little bit. I don't have an issue wearing silver and gold. Some people do. I like to mix and match and I encourage you to try it. Like, try new things with fashion. 
Um, okay, so this dress, as you can see, is a bit of a baby doll style. It's not terribly long nor short. Um, kind of hits me right in my knee. Again, five foot six for reference. I've styled it with some over the knee boots. I like this kind of black on black, no skin showing from shoulder to toe. I think it's a vibe and I am here for it. That said, this with little booties, fantastic. This with running shoes, fantastic. And again, it's just like a cute, simple, I think relatively inexpensive H&M dress. I love the little ruffle detailing on this. I think if you have broader shoulders, what it does actually is it kind of brings the eye to look here and focus a little bit less um, on other parts of the body. I know it doesn't give you any shape, but I like this. Again, very comfortable. I've had a big lunch. You would never know. <laughs> All right, folks, the last one. Now, I know you've been here for a little while now, so I hope you're hanging on. This glorious, I don't know what the material is, but honestly, I've never had something so soft on my body. Um, I feel like I should look it up and tell you what it is. I feel like, I don't know, I, I can't even find the tag now, but this, this dress is perfect for Zoom meetings when you're at home and what you'd like to be wearing is loungewear, or maybe you don't feel like you can wear loungewear. This is perfect. I mean, it looks like I'm wearing a polo shirt from up here and then I'm fully covered and extremely, yes, I'll say it again, comfortable. Now I've thrown on some booties. I like the idea of having a monochromatic look with this, but look at this. When I throw on, again, the magical vegan leather or leather look blazer from Zara, how it elevates this outfit. Now, even though I wouldn't care, I'd go out wearing what is effectively a moo. I don't care, but if I wanted to spice things up a little, or maybe it's chilly and I'm, I'm going out in the evening and I want to, I don't want to wear a jacket, but I want to wear a blazer, throw this on, and then throw on my trusty Celine bag, and I'm ready for action. Now, I think this dress is $79.90. As you can see, again, that's Canadian. As you can see, it is, you know, it's oversized. So I would suggest if you're looking for a more fitted look to size down, a little bit. Again, I like it like this. I work from home. I intend to wear this very comfortably in the fall and winter when it's a little chillier. You're like covered down to, to at least your ankle. And I don't know, I find it, it's a bit of a chic vibe as well. But even one day, imagine when we can travel again, wearing this on the flight. And you know when you land and you, you're not in loungewear, you're you're ready to, to run around town because you've got, you know, a moo, moo dress on. <laughs> All right, folks, that's it. Those were 10 looks, 10 styled looks, a little bit of old, a little bit of new. Um, I hope you'll find some inspiration from this. So pull out some things from your wardrobe or maybe purchase a few pieces. And I also hope that you'll have fun with fashion. You know, it's, it's meant to be fun and I don't know, experiment a little, try things that you wouldn't necessarily do, do different color combinations and find your style. You don't, have to do what everyone else is doing and follow the trends, I encourage you to find a style that you enjoy that brings you happiness. So on that note, um, I'm wishing you all a wonderful day wherever you are in this world. I hope you are feeling safe um, and healthy. And don't forget to comment below should you not like this format or if you like it, either way, I'd love to hear from you and I can tailor a little bit in the future. And again, that like and subscribe button. So I'll see you soon.